Chapter 4. Store of Value versus Medium of Exchange Quote, The real advantage of Bitcoin lies in it being a reliable long-term store of value, not from its ability to offer ubiquitous or cheap transactions. End quote. Saifedean Amus, The Bitcoin Standard Saifedean Amus has one of the most extreme versions of digital gold maximalism out there, he envisions a future in which regular people don't even touch the blockchain and on-chain transactions are reserved for high-value transfers only. In the Bitcoin Standard, he writes, quote, Bitcoin can be seen as the new emerging reserve currency for online transactions, where the online equivalent of banks will issue Bitcoin-backed tokens to users while keeping their hoard of Bitcoins in cold storage. And in an online discussion, he writes, quote, Bitcoin on-chain payments aren't for the merchant, they're for central banks. You can have all the world's payment networks built on top of Bitcoin, only settling on-chain. BTC is like central bank gold under a gold standard, end quote. This sentiment is echoed by popular Bitcoin commentator Tur de Meester, who said, At full maturity, using the Bitcoin blockchain will be as rare and specialized as chartering an oil tanker. These ideas are now discussed as if they have been the dominant vision since the beginning, but comparing them to the original design, they're wild and unnecessary. I certainly never signed up for this version of Bitcoin, nor did any of the countless other entrepreneurs I worked with in the early days. In fact, a central part of the beauty of Bitcoin is precisely that the blockchain is accessible to everybody and not exclusive to bankers. Like so many other public personalities who speak with confidence about Bitcoin, Amus and Demeester merely assume that additional layers will solve BTC's usability problems without any issue. Yet, when you actually look at second layer technologies, their viability remains uncertain, especially if the base layer does not scale. These problems are generally not recognized by BTC enthusiasts, who instead believe that engineers will fix everything in the future despite their poor track record so far. Furthermore, a future of Bitcoin-backed tokens is a guarantee that arbitrary inflation will continue plaguing those of us who are not central bankers. History demonstrates that currencies inevitably lose their backing over time. And if people are forced to trade promises of Bitcoin instead of actual Bitcoin, it's only a matter of time before the promises are inflated far beyond the actual supply of Bitcoin. Second layers only make this inflation easier to conduct.